Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Kanak Info Systems LLP and we are back with another video exploring ERP Next feature which is pricing group. Now this feature is used to perform price adjustments or override the standard price list and define a certain discount percentage based on various conditions. Now this can be managed using number of filters like quantity, validity, item group and so on. So without any further ado, let me show you how you can set up a pricing rule and how it would reflect in your sales orders. First I'll go to pricing list through my awesome bar and I'll create a new pricing rule. I'll give it a title. I'll choose where this rule would be applied on if it is a particular item, a particular item group, a certain brand or a certain transaction. So I'll pick a certain item and I'll add the items over here on which I want this pricing rule to work on. Now, is it a price discount or a product discount? Well, if it has any effect on the pricing of the product, it's a price discount. And if you are giving away products for free, let's say one, one plus one scheme, buy one, get one free, then you choose the product discount. I am choosing the price discount over here. Then we have party information. Are you applying this discount on the selling items or the buying items? I'll pick up selling. Then I'll choose where this is applicable for a certain customer a customer group, a territory, a sales partner or a particular campaign. So this is for a certain customer group and I'll select that customer group over here. Then minimum quantity, maximum quantity, minimum amount, maximum amount. Now these are the determiners when we apply different pricing rule and on the basis of these, the pricing rule uh, is applied on your transactions, which I'll further show you in the two instances that I'm going to tell you about. Then we have period settings. Now this would determine uh, the time period the pricing rule is active for. So we'll quickly fill in the valid up to date, which is 10th of May. So I'm running this pricing rule for a week. Then there's margin percentage. This is a fixed amount or a percentage that you can set on your selling item. I'm leaving it blank. You can fill in if you want, wish to. Then we have price discount scheme. This is the actual pricing uh, or discount rule that can be applied using the three given criteria, which is rate, discount percentage and discount amount. Now the uh, rate is to fix a new rate on an item based on any customer. You can use this. Discount percentage can be fixed on specific price list. And if you want it to be on all the price lists, just leave it blank. Discount amount is to provide discount of a fixed amount, let's say 1000 rupees, no matter how big the transaction is. So we'll select discount percentage for now. I'll fill in the percentage and I'll select the price list it is active for. Now let me explore some advanced settings, which is threshold for suggestion. Uh, if you want system to notify you to adjust quantity or amount to avail the discount based on the threshold, you will use this setting. Uh, for example, a threshold is defined as 9 and the quantity for the discount is 10. So the system will notify the user to add one more unit to avail that discount. Then we have priority. Now let us consider an item group and out of that, I want to... Um, set a specific rule for one item from that group so i'll create a new pricing rule and i'll pick a number from here and the higher the number would be higher the priority of it would be so now let us explore two conditions that have been given in the erp next by default which is mixed conditions and is cumulative so first let us discuss what mixed conditions is It is used to offer discounts on combo items within the minimum and maximum quantity limits. 
so let's say um i am starting a discount scheme wherein if you buy this item and this item and combined they make the desired quantity you uh, limit you will get this percentage of the amount so for that this feature could be used so first i'll check in the mixed conditions and i'll enter the minimum and the maximum quantity over here and then I'll go in and save. Now I'll cre create a new sales order to show you how this is going to work. I'll select a customer. Since we chose commercial customers only, we're going to select a commercial customer. Then I'm going to give it a delivery date and I'll select the products. Now it was active on only two products, which was MacBook Pro and plastic chairs. Now, since uh, the quantity is one and one, it cumulatively doesn't meet the criteria and hence the rate has no uh, effect at all. However, if I change the quantities of these, suddenly we have a discounted rate and hence the mixed conditions pricing rule has been applied on my sales order and I can just further go and process this. Now let me quickly show you the cumulative pricing rule. The cumulative pricing rule allows you to offer discount on purchase of an item multiple times by the same customer. The pricing rule applies cumulatively on compliance of defined amount transaction. Well in here we'll have to configure a minimum and a maximum amount limit. And uh, let's say a person buys a product from me and I have uh, kept the minimum amount for the cumulative discount rule as 50,000 but in his first transaction he just buys the product and uh, it is accounting to 30,000 and he says he wants to proceed with whatever amount there is. So a no, no discount would be applied on that. But the customer comes up to me for the second transaction for the same product and luckily I have the pricing rule still valid and he makes the second transaction again for 30,000. So the first transaction of 30,000 and the second transaction of 30,000 combiningly equals to 60,000 which exceeds the minimum amount set limit. Now in this situation, the pricing rule would apply on the second or the latest transaction he has made. Now let me quickly show you how that works in ERP next. First of all, I'll give this a title. I'll choose where I would like to apply this code on. I'll check on the is cumulative box. I'll configure the other details. I'll set up the minimum amount and the maximum amount. The discount percentage and for the price that is price list it is valid. Now I'll go on to create a new sales order. I'll select my customer. I'll give them a delivery date. I'll add the product. Now you see they have only purchased one and it is 30,000. So it is not meeting the criteria of being between 50,000 to 70,000 but the customer says let's just proceed with it so a no discount has been applied here now the customer comes up to me again within the valid period and asks for the same product this time they're going to buy two of these items And a discount has been automatically applied. So that's how the cumulative discount rule would work. It is pretty easy once you get the hang of it, but I'm sure you may have a lot of questions. We too had 
when we first explored ERP Next, but now that we have found answers, we would love to answer your queries. You can book a consultation with us and get answers to your curious questions. We would love to assist you. You can.